Hi, I'm Erin. I'm a clinical herbalist and aromatherapist based in the Pacific Northwest, and I teach herbal aromatherapy at Florinella.com. And today we are going to be making an herbal heart tonic shrub recipe. A shrub is basically a drinkable vinegar that is made with herb-infused vinegar, fruit or fruit juice, and honey. It's a really great way to incorporate herbs into your food every day. And this is one of my favorite recipes. So I'm starting with a cup of dried hawthorn berries. Hawthorn is the premier heart health herb. It's great for all kinds of cardiovascular health support. I'm also adding rose. I've also added a little bit of hibiscus flower and I'm adding some cardamom pods for a little bit of spice. I'm gonna fill the rest of the jar with frozen strawberries. If they're fresh where you are when you're making your shrub, you can use them fresh. It's winter time when I'm filling this here right now, so I'm using frozen strawberries. All the specific amounts for these ingredients will be listed on the blog post, which is linked below. Once your jar is full, you can fill it to the brim until all of your plant material is covered with raw organic apple cider vinegar. I like to give my jar a couple of taps to dislodge any larger air bubbles. That way I could top it off before putting the lid on if I need to. And then you can give it a good shake to incorporate everything. If you're using hibiscus like I am, it'll turn your vinegar bright red as soon as you shake it. It's really pretty. You're then going to stick this in the fridge and let it infuse the vinegar for one to two weeks at least, but you can let it go a little bit longer, say three to four weeks, if you want a stronger vinegar. So I like to strain mine through a fine mesh sieve that has two layers of the mesh so that I can make sure not to get too much particulate matter into my finished vinegar. I also like to use a wooden spoon or spatula to press all of the excess liquid out of that plant material so I can make sure to get every last drop that I can. When you're all finished pressing this, you can take that plant material and add it to your compost pile. And then to your liquid, your infused vinegar, you can add honey or maple syrup to taste. Some people like to use a one-to-one -one ratio with their shrub recipes. I find that that can be a little bit too sweet for me. So I like to just add it a little bit at a time until I reach the desired sweetness. And then I mix everything up with a wire whisk so that it's thoroughly incorporated and that makes it a lot easier to pour into my jar. You can store it in a canning jar like this one, but this ended up being a little bit too big for the amount of liquid that I made. So I transferred it into a smaller jar and the finished shrub you can use to make homemade sodas or salad dressings. You can stir it in with a bit of sparkling water or you can add it to oil to make a salad dressing. You can use it in marinades. It's just a really great recipe and this one is especially tasty. I hope you enjoy making it. Feel free to visit our website at florinella.com and check out our herbal aromatherapy certification program in which I teach you how to work with herbs and their hydrosols and essential oils from the garden to the still to the apothecary. I'll see you in the next video.